Hey gang, I was at my local fun shop just a few hours ago when they were getting ready to put this in our display case. And I told them, whoa, hold up a second. Let me have a look at that. Ruger released their uh, Mark IVs, you know, middle or late last year, sometime like that. And uh, I waited before I picked one up because I was wanting the 2245 version on it. And they just released these for December and January, I think, or maybe in January, I can't remember. But anyway, this is the first one that I've seen. As soon as I seen it, I thought I'd go ahead and buy it. So I walked in and seen it, and I said, don't, don't even put it in a display case. I won't take it with me. Uh, the reason I waited for the 2245 is because I have the older Mark III Hunter. This old fella here, I've had it probably, I don't know, probably 15 years or so. And you know, if you own one of these older ones, like a Mark III or Mark II or whatever, they're kind of a bitch to take apart. You know, you got to take this, you know, this back spring out and all that. Actually, I've got a, I've got a video about taking this gun here apart it's kind of an old one if you're interested on a very easy way to do it i'll leave that uh video link at the bottom of this one here but anyway i didn't want to get rid of this one just to get another one just like it for the easy button to take down the back of it so i decided to hang on to this one here and wait for the 2245 to come out which it finally has and i finally got one been wanting one of these since since I heard about them, you know, since I heard about the easy takedown pin. This is the Braun Anodized Finish. It's aluminum upper, of course, up with a polymer lower. Only weighs 25 ounces. That's nothing. It weighs nothing at all. Uh, it has the threaded barrel on it. It's the the half by 28. You can take that off and put your suppressor on there. Some Ruger Mark IV 2245 Light. The suggested retail is about $5.59 on Ruger's on the Ruger website. This one was $4.29. Of course, plus tax, whatever. But the appealing thing to these, of course, if you know if you know anything about the Ruger Mark IVs, is this little button right here. Just push it, pull up, and look at that. The damn thing comes apart. Oh my god. And you pull the bolt out. It's ready for cleaning. You clean it, you put your bolt back in. Put it back in that little pivot spot right there. Bam. Your gun is ready to go. Now, for all you thousands of people who own these, now you know that you can't do that with these sons of bitches here, even though I have made a video on it that is the, <laughs> that makes it easier to do. It is nothing like the Mark IVs. Whoever it works for Ruger, who, who finally, finally, after what, 60 damn years, <clears throat> finally come up with this design they ought to throw the they ought to throw him on everybody else's shoulders and pack him around and celebrate him because this is amazing then you can take your go ahead and take your spring out and everything else to need to clean it but may i tell you what that just blows me away all you got to do is see that little uh little thing right there and you got your little like a little hook you just slide her in there just like this Layer down, and it pops right into place. It's that easy. I'm going to enjoy this little gun. I like it a lot. I love the way it feels. If, of course, it's a 2245, so it feels like a, a 1911 in your hand. And of course, uh, you can change. It looks like you, well, you can. You can change out these grip panels if you want to, uh, like any kind of 45 panels that you like to buy. Change the colors up or whatever. This is a bronze anodized finish. They're, they're, I think they got a blue one or a black one maybe out too. But I kind of like this. This is actually a little darker than I thought it was going to be from their website. So I kind of like it a lot. You can see right there, Ruger Mark IV. Very cool little pistol. I would love to take this down at the bottom right now and do, and do, and do some firing with it on camera. But man, we've got 20 mile an hour winds gush, gushing up to 30 right now. But I do have a little steel target. I'll tell you what. Let me hang. Let me pause this video. Get the cameras turned around. I got a steel target hung up, just a few yards outside this window right here. Let's put the first two mags through it anyway, because I'm not. It's brand new. I've not shot it yet. So hang on. Give me one second. All right, guys. I got both magazines loaded up. Let's take a few shots with it. First ten. All right. Yep, 
this thing's going to be fun, guys. I tell you what. And the uh, just being able to take the damn thing apart and clean it, just like that. We just got through shooting it. Now, look how easy it is to take apart and clean. That is amazing. Thank you, Ruger, finally. For God's sakes, after how many years? <laughs> just check that out. That's, it just amazes me. All right, guys. That's it for now. <laughs> I'd like to go down and make a better shooting video with it, but man, that wind is gusting up right now. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hanging out. Ruger Mark IV. Mm, love it. See ya.